Shaheen Holloway, born October 7th, 1976. Let's branch out a little and evaluate an era that's usually looked past and some even argue it as the golden era of basketball. With what MJ, Hakeem, Shaq, Iverson, and others were doing in that decade, that could be a very strong argument. As far as college basketball is concerned, it just may have been. In 1996, high school basketball was lit with competition, and at the point guard position, this guy was the best of them, not named Mike Bibby. A Queens, New York born, tough nosed kid that had a knack for leading and knack for playing the position of leader in basketball, the point guard. If I told you that in the 96 McDonald's All-American game, which featured Tim Thomas, Jermaine O'Neal, Richard Hamilton, Mike Bibby, Ronnie Fields, and Kobe Bryant, Holloway walked away with the MVP award, would you believe it? He did. Would you believe he wasn't even drafted? Nope. Why? Let's get into it. Salute to Eugene Spruill and my man Andrea Barzino for this request. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth. Let's get it, man. Listed at 5'10", but Holloway's story, accomplishments, examples of how to use basketball, building relationships, and prioritizing when life issues begin to challenge you stand twice that size. I have to preface what I say later with this, because in no way do I want to offend, disrespect, or misrepresent this guy's name. Because I truly admire the man he's become and his mindset when he speaks about his career and possible stunts. Those stunts may surprise you. And no, I don't think height had anything to do with it. Stunt number one, Seton Hall. Shaheen was a high school star that decided to leave Queens and attend now powerhouse St. Patrick's in New Jersey, a move he was reluctant to make not wanting to be too far away from home. I love Seton Hall and everything that program means to East Coast, but in particular, New York ball players. Schools like that, St. John's, Rutgers, would be blasphemous to speak on in those circles in any form of disregard or unfavorably. I get it, but in my opinion, Shaheen chose the wrong school. And I mean that only as far as having the best NBA chances. Outside of that, Seton Hall was a blessing for Holloway, a guy that wanted more than anything to stay close to his family. It gave him that and continued to feed his success far after he graduated, so there's that. It also gave him the chance to graduate, which I'll speak on very soon, as well as it gave him the opportunity to shine from day one and have his name engraved in the program's fabric forever. If this channel were about those things, he'd be the face of it, and how he used his time and space he created to parlay that in enhancing other endeavors. Here's why I think choosing them over one of his two final schools was a mistake. I've already mentioned how good Holloway was in high school. I mean, the guy was competitive, could handle, pass, defend, was a great leader, and by all accounts, good person to be around. And he could shoot it. Even at his size, he was spectacular, and his resume was tough. He could have went to any school at that time. Had he chose to attend Duke, we'd be having a totally different conversation though. How good would he have fit with the Blue Devils? Well, from the 96-97 season all the way to his junior year before they got Jay Williams, Duke didn't have a high level point guard on the roster. None as good as Shaheen anyway. In 1999, they lost to number one UConn by three points in the national championship game, a season where Holloway was at Seton Hall having his worst year as a Pirate. They could have definitely used each other from that span. And it's interesting he didn't choose them in the first place. Why didn't he? Well, the man had probably the best reason you could ask for. Holloway was a father of a young daughter since high school. It's understandable that he chose to stay close to home instead of moving to Chapel Hill in that time. Holloway was also simply a tri-state guy through and through, so in his wanting to do things different spirit, he stayed close to home. Great for him. But Duke would have given him a much larger spotlight and could have propelled him all the way to being a top 10 pick. Stunt number two, the gift and the curse. Holloway, side note, I can see this guy's name incorporated in so many battle rap lines, it's crazy, crazy. Anyway, Shaheen went on to Seton Hall and was a star from day one. So much so, I don't even think he expected to come in and have the freshman year he did. 
He was fifth in the Big East Conference in scoring. He was selected Big East All-Rookie Team and the All-AAC Team. Averaged 17.3 points and 6.3 assists a game. He didn't shoot the ball well by any means, but even so, he could have gotten drafted had he left early. The gift is being able to say that you set the bar for your family and community by staying four years and graduating, building relationships, developing certain skills further. Staying four years definitely gives you that, but you lose that one opportunity, that one real window in the process. Not everyone should leave school early, especially if they aren't confident in their skills, but in hindsight, I'm sure even he asks himself sometimes what may have been. The curse became while he gained those things previously mentioned, he came back to school and had two of the worst things you could possibly want happen, happen. Stats falling off and injury. As a sophomore, he still led the conference in assists at six a game, but every other statistical category that was important for his chances fell. All made worse by the junior year he followed that with. That was his worst of them all. There may not be a thing harder to get over than having your stats fall off in back-to-back -back years while trying to fight for a draft spot. It's almost impossible, and it didn't work out for him in the relevant aspects. Stunt number three, injury. Going into Holloway's senior season, he knew he'd have to improve his shooting and efficiency. He did that, but his stats were still way down from his freshman year and what was expected of him. But in still, he was an important part of his team's magical run to the Sweet 16 that year. He'd break his ankle in that tournament, and that was pretty much the end of his chances, being undersized, shooting issues, potential issues, having shown you couldn't improve over the years, and now the injury, he went undrafted, and would go on to have a cup of tea, as he says, with a few summer league teams before heading overseas to a solid career and life experience. Because of family issues, he decided to return to the States and got into his life goal, coaching. Iona, Seton Hall, and lastly, St. Peter's University in Jersey as the head coach. All in all, Holloway turned out to be a well-respected man off the floor, general on the floor, who was battle-tested and have huge success. Respect everything he's done in and for the game and the things he continues to do. But for these reasons, I think his growth was stunning. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth, and I'm out.